Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today it's the summer season, all right? Everybody's starting to think about their holidays, of travel, and when it comes to travel, you know, for me, I always try to take the easiest route. And when I'm traveling to my destination, I pretty much try to take cabin luggage only, because then there's no checking in or waiting to collect your kit on the other side. However, sometimes that's just not feasible. And a situation occurred to me just a week ago where I needed to go a little bit larger in the luggage that I carried because I was invited to the wedding of a close personal friend, also a fellow YouTuber, Timothy Big Pretty Crow from the Big Pretty Men's Channel. And he was getting married over in Philadelphia. And it was necessary to look a little bit beyond cabin luggage, I'm afraid, because Tim was going for the full wedding with all accoutrement and, you know, attire appropriate to such a special event. He was getting married in the cathedral there in Philadelphia, so it was a special occasion. Certainly not the sort of kit you can stick into hand luggage, uh, because Tim wanted myself, as one of the two best men, to wear uh, evening dress, so black tie uh, with, you know, specially uh, selected uh, coloured waistcoats and bow ties. So I had to take my black tie. Now I'm not able to stuff that into my hand luggage. So I reached out to my good friends, my luggage solution company that I've been using for the last probably three or four years now, and that's Carl Friedrich. Uh, just a brief sort of synopsis of Carl Friedrich. They're a, I believe, a London-based company, but they certainly have Scandinavian, uh, Scandinavian influences and design cues because they tend to go for the quite minimalist, quite straightforward, chic, and easy to use kit because I have their briefcases, I even carry their wallets, I've got their, you know, you name it from their collection, I have it. So this time I reached out and asked if I could have one of their check-in uh, pieces of luggage. Now Carl Friedrich do a whole range of luggage which is all sort of colour coordinated, very beautiful and this is what they sent me. And it's a lovely bit of kit, it's a polycarbonate uh, suitcase which is ideal for checking into the, the hold of an aircraft. It's got wonderful rigidity, that polycarbonate sort of bulletproof exterior uh, allows you to pack your kit in with confidence and security. And the security that you feel is enhanced by the great combination locks which this bit of kit has. Of course, in Carl Frederick's design style, they have these wonderful pieces of Varchetta Italian leather, which are the accents on this suitcase. You have them on the two handles and also on the strip which runs around the top of the suitcase, which makes it easy for you to identify it when it's on the old luggage rack. Uh, and, uh, you know, it comes in different colours. I think it comes in black and a chocolate brown. I've gone for their cognac brown. Interestingly, on this trip, I saw a number of other people pushing their Carl Friedrich luggage through the, uh, the halls of Heathrow and JFK Airport. So certainly Carl Friedrich is starting to gain some traction in the luxury luggage world. Always equipped with these wonderful, I think they're Japanese manufacture, 360 degree silent running wheels. They work very well. And I can tell you they work very well because I've just dragged this suitcase over about half a mile of country uh, ground. As you can see, I'm in my usual studio and it coped with the off-road situation very, very well. Now, I'm gonna show you some of my packing tips here as well. This is what this video is all about. How to pack a dinner suit for an international event. Now, when I open the briefcase, as you can see, those lovely combination locks just slide open. Inside, I've got two sort of absolutely capacious uh, compartments which allow me to store my kit in plenty of comfort. And both of these compartments also come with a compression panel, which allows you to sort of cinch your kit in and make sure it fits very easily. Now, the problem with packing in such a way is, as I'm sure you're aware, when it comes to packing a suit or something of that nature, how the hell do you get your suit from A to B, particularly through an international long haul journey, without it being creased to heck and needing hours of sort of returning to its beautiful splendor? Well, my experience has been 
very difficult to achieve that. However, I have got a route which I have taken over the last few years, which tends to give good results when it comes to the maintenance of the look of your clothing when it's in transit. Let me just step over here and collect my uh, dinner jacket because here it is. Um, it's a little bit crumpled because it has just survived this journey to Philadelphia and back. However, there it is on its, hand, on its hanger, ready to rock. So how do I get this to my destination without being too sort of destroyed by creases and things like that? Well, first of all, it's about the way you pack, obviously. And when it comes to your, your formal attire, the goal is to protect it as much as possible whilst it is in your suitcase. So let me just start with the trousers. That's the easy option. When it comes to the trousers, just close that for one moment, our trousers are going to get to their end journey, end of their journey, as best as profitable if we can sort of uh, roll them. This is my own experience. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my trousers here. These are my formal dinner jacket trousers. I'm going to flip them there, make sure they're lying nice and flat. Get another pair of one's trousers. Here we go. This is a pair of chino trousers, which I'm also taking on my journey. I'm going to pop them alongside my trousers here. I'm going to take one of these stuff sacks. Now, I use these stuff sacks contained in this one is my underwear for the trip. And when the underwear's all been expended, these stuff sacks make excellent laundry bags. Very good, gets everything in compact, makes it easy to pack them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my stuff sack and put that on top of these two pairs of trousers, which I have layered together. Now, I'm simply going to roll my trousers up because now you can see, rather than being folded in half, so you've got acute angles, you know, 90 degrees or whatever it is, by rolling it, the trousers are not subjected to any creasing points because it's rather than being folded in half or in thirds, it's nicely protected. It's easy to pack within the bag as well. But the trousers, one might say, are the slightly easier bits. So I'm going to pop these in my suitcase, ready to go, and I'm going to get my dinner jacket, my tuxedo, which is by far the hardest thing to pack. I'm just going to pop my shoes in here as well now that I've started to do this packing. You'll notice that the shoes I'm taking with me are a highly bulled pair of uh, Oxfords. In fact, they're uh, quarter brogues, but I contain them using travel shoe trees, nice plastic ones, not heavy like the normal cedar wood that I use at home, but robust enough to survive the journey. They're light enough so they don't make a significant difference on the weight of my bag, but they maintain the integrity and the shape of my shoe in travel. And I use the little shoe bags which came with the shoes when I initially bought them. They're soft fabric. They protect that lovely polish that I've already applied to those shoes. I slip them into the bag, easy, ready to go. Okay, so now I come to the more challenging part, that of my dinner jacket itself. I'm going to get rid of that hanger because that's not coming on the journey with me. Now when it comes to the jacket, what I'm going to do, one side of the jacket, I'm going to plunge my arm into the sleeve, grab the bottom and pull it out fully. I'm going to turn that side of my jacket entirely inside out. Right? Simple as that. One sleeve has now been pulled inside out. I'm going to take that sleeve and I'm now going to put it down the sleeve of the other one. So now I've got my two sleeves together and the jacket, which is inside, now folds into itself. I hope you can see that. The jacket has folded into itself and the two sleeves are together down one end. Now what I'm going to do, because the sleeves often are the things which look the worst when they've got creases, I am going to pack out that sleeve so that it retains its integrity. So these are the shirts which I'm taking on my trip. Now you'll notice they're unironed because in my experience no light material like cotton or, or linen ever survives a packing experience without needing ironing at the other end. So I'm not even going to iron these. These are unironed. I've done my research. I know that my destination has a steam iron available for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take two shirts or one shirt at a time and now I am going to stuff it down the sleeve of my jacket. And you can see what I'm aiming to do here. I'm filling up the sleeve with these items. So I'm taking another shirt, roll it up, stuff that down the sleeve as well. 
And I'm even going to do another one because, you know, this is an easy way of packing your shirts at the same time as protecting your jacket. So there we go. Now you can see my sleeve is fully packed with those three shirts. I can place it into my suitcase and I'm going to try and get the jacket to lie nice and flat. But in order to maintain that integrity, I'm going to take my existing shirts and I'm going to place them in that cavity inside my jacket because now I'm packing it so it's retaining its shape, right? It's not being creased, it's not being pushed down. I'm gonna take my other uh, stuff bag and in this one I can feel my socks are in there for the journey. I'm gonna pop that in there too. Now my jacket is protected from being pushed flat and creases forming within it because I've packed it out with those items, my shirts, which I'll iron at the other end, my underpants and my socks. Now the jacket is, even though it's packed in my suitcase, it retains its integrity. Now I can pack things like my laundry bag and I pack them in a sympathetic way so that they are not uh, damaging or pushing into the jacket and causing creases. And in that way, I can pack anything else that I need. And using the compression, um, panels, pop them over the top and it allows you to cinch it down and keep the garments all looking sharp and fully sort of in with integrity without creases forming and then me being left with a heck of a job on the other end. So that's how I've packed and I successfully managed to pack it because when I got to the other end, because I was on holiday last week, I can tell you that my suitcase survived the full airport experience. I went to Heathrow, I took the shuttle from the business car park, it went into the luggage rack, uh, it then went into the hold of the aircraft, flew from London to JFK, collected it, it survived car journeys, in and out of airports, uh, in and out of hotels, Airbnbs, it had a tough life and I have to say because it's made of polycarbonate which is a really robust and strong plastic formation. Uh, it doesn't show any marks or signs of distress. It was easy to carry. And this is the middle size, or I should say the smaller of the two uh, check-in uh, pieces of luggage which Carl Friedrich currently produce. There's an even larger one if you're going on maybe longer destinations. This one cost 465 British pounds, but as ever look out for deals and things like that on the Carl Friedrich website. But I can attest having used used Carl Friedrich now for a number of years and I, I own quite a lot of items from across their range. They're a company which I trust to carry my most valuable bits of kit when I'm traveling locally or when I'm traveling internationally over thousands of miles because they always come up trumps and at the end of my journey my jacket came out of this suitcase in tip-top condition and I attended the wedding. In fact it was a week ago today and uh, I had no issues, didn't have to get the iron out at all for my wedding attire. So there we go. That's my recommendation. Carl Friedrich, the check-in piece of their material or their, their luggage is certainly a way to go for your traveling solutions. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today on how to pack a suit on a, for an international journey and perhaps uh, an advisory on a piece of kit that you can buy to make that journey easier. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee or become a patron. My patrons receive additional videos and uh, certainly are much more part of the Chaps Guide family. So until the next time, take care, and I will see you again very soon.